everyone welcome to my channel today i'll be swatching my hhc order from july i have two polishes from watcha and one polish from vanessa molina so let's get right on into those so i do have some long canvases for us today i painted them white my cute little designed nails have started popping off this hand is completely bare but i figured before these all popped i would go ahead and use them as a canvas i kind of like the thought of using a long canvas so this first one is a vanessa molina it is a lime green linear hollow super pretty and i've been looking for this specific shade for a long time. I haven't found the exact lime green. Every time I look, they're either a little too dark, a little too dusty, a little too neon. Let's try this one out. First coat. Let's go in for our second coat. And here it is with a glossy top coat. The linear effect is super strong. Really pretty color. Since I have a hand of natural nails that are base coated up, I will go ahead and show you what these look like on natural nails as well because they may or may not differ over a white base. So Let's go in with this Vanessa Molina. The brush on this one is like super wide. So I am making a little bit of a mess here, but I do have really small nails. Let's go in for that a second coat. I was just filling in the patches I kind of left from the first application on that first nail. And this is two coats with the top coat. It is blinding the camera though. It's just so shiny and the hollow is super strong. So fun. And as you can see on two coats, there's no visible nail line. So super happy with that one. Next up, this is a Watcha polish. This is from the Fairy Duo. This one is called I Do Believe in Fairies. And this is a, I would say, teal leaning sage green. You guys, I'm not the greatest with color description, but it is a really pretty color. And it has that super bright red to like gold kind of flash in it on extreme angles you kind of see a green glowing in there so kind of unicorn pea looking you see the green underneath the cap or 
not the cap, the sticker. <laughs> more than anything, you kind of see it gleaming in there, but I feel like you'll more get that nice red glow. And you already see all these beautiful reflective silver glitters, but bam, that is with the flash. So that is super strong. And that just looks like little diamonds. This is super pretty. Let's go ahead and swatch this one out. First coat. That is super pretty. And it seems so full just in the first coat. That is just the first coat, and this is no flash. The reflectives are absolutely incredible. This is with flash. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I've ever seen a reflective this strong. I'm fairly new to all this jazz, this super awesome polishes with all these cool finishes and extra bits, but this looks incredible compared to any of the other ones that I have. Wow. You get a little bit of that red sparkle. I'll let this dry and come back for a second coat. While we wait for it to dry, we'll go ahead and try on our bare nail. And on these little shorty nails, this is like a pretty much one coat. It seemed really thick and juicy just on that long nail. I guess I could have foreshadowed this, but this is pretty amazing to me. The reflective and that red shimmer just kind of dancing underneath it is so pretty. And there is with the flash that looks otherworldly. That is like actual stardust. <laughs> that is crazy. Wow. How cool. Let's go in for our second coat. This green feels almost pine colored or near that kind of color family. And I could totally see myself wearing this at the holiday time. It's just so pretty. And that red flash, oh my goodness. And of course, with that flash, wow. So, so pretty. That reflective is too cool. And 
And this is with a top coat for that gloss factor to restore that shine after those glitters. Goodness, that is so pretty. This next one is called Fairy Wing. And this is the other one in the Fairy Duo. And as you can see, there is a red flash. In some instances, you can see it. You more get the pink glow out of the big flakies. But there is that kind of flash. It is a little bit more dramatic in person. It feels like it's a little more pink and kind of blends in with those translucent flakies. And this one is to be paired with this one. So I will do one coat of this over one of these so we can kind of see the comparison. And I have this half and half nail going on. And yes, it looks crazy and it's really wonky. Whatever. This is just <laughs> this is just to show you what this would look like over a white and a black. And I've just done side by side so we can check that out. So let's go in with one coat over, I do believe, in fairies. Wow, that is just amazing. It doubles up on that red to green to gold shifty, and it also gives us some flakes. Ooh, that is pretty. And that does work so seamlessly together. It just looks like one polish with like a super glow with a flaky in it. And that is really clever. I love this. And I will show you over a little nail as well, my little shorties. And you still get that full effect, maybe even more on a shorty. Because in a longer nail, it's almost like it is a linear effect. But in these shorties being a little bit flatter, you get a little bit more effect. So that is interesting to see side by side. And let's see with our reflectives. So you kind of see those flakies in there as well. Again, more so on the shorty. So it turns out the shorties have the advantage on this polish duo. Interesting conclusion here. Very fun. I also have a bare nail for us. It's not 100% bare as I apparently have gotten some things on it, but let's see what this topper looks like just on its own. I am curious. I'm sure this could be built up. Oh my goodness, this looks like a straight up opal. Oh my. Well, let me turn off this flash so you can really see what I'm seeing here. This doesn't quite capture how juicy that red shiftiness is. But that is absolutely gorgeous. That is so pretty. 
oh, I want to wear this on my birthday. I want to build this up. This is just too pretty. Well, let's look over this white black nail and see what we find. First, we'll go over just white. Ooh, that is definitely really pretty. Ooh, you get that shifty red, but those translucent flakies look really blue and green over white, really unicorn-like. And the way they look in the light, it almost looks like they ombre. That's so pretty. Let's look over this other side. Oh my pop, that is super cool. And over a dark color, this looks super fall-like. Oh, I love this. This is going to be like a fun winter and fall duo type topper. I'm in love with this topper. I'm in love with this topper. Oh my god. <laughs> It's glowing, it's sparkling, it's shining. <laughs> this is so cute. Well, I think this is going on my favorite topper, top of the charts list. Holy smokes. Look at that little green going on. Ooh, ooh, that one right there. Ooh, wee. Oh my goodness. Just look at it. Well, oh, and look at how that one just goes from green to pink so shifty wow just for fun let's put another layer on this thumb That is absolutely beautiful. Look at all that's going on in there. Look at that big flaky. Wow. There's some nice big ones in there. This is very fun. The shift. So cool. And that concludes my Hella Handmade Creations July 2022 swatches. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, let me know. If you would like more of this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the notification bell, you will never miss an upload. So until next time, friends, thanks for hanging with me.